In the world of embedded UI design, Storyboard was built with a focus on including designers in creating better applications for embedded UIs. An environment like Storyboard that supports the designer enables them to take control and really own the look and feel of the user interface. But to be effective in creating a software solution that supports engineering and design, there needs to be a separation between the backend logic and the UI. Storyboard 5.2 has introduced two new tools, the Event Editor and Storyboard Connector, that really open up the process of working with events and data for your UI by defining an API for how the two communicate. Storyboard's ability to easily connect the UI to devices and communicate this data between backend applications and the user interface make it a compelling solution for embedded UI development. Storyboard Connector establishes receiving and processing events from backend applications. Users are able to create, define, and generate events to test in their UI. Not only does the event editor and storyboard connector provide a convenient way to simulate events using data, but it accomplishes this faster than using other methods and with less effort, too. Users that aren't as familiar with using command line utilities, writing native C applications, or creating a simulator application with SBLUA have an easy-to-use interface they can use when they start testing their product with defined events and data. So let's take a quick look at defining an event connecting it with our UI, and testing it out in Storyboard Suite 5.2. So here we are in Storyboard 5.2, and this is the cluster I.O. sample that ships with Storyboard. If you want, you can import this sample project into your workspace to check it out. And this is a great application to demonstrate how a UI needs to communicate information to the user. Here, we've got a UI with dials and gauges built in, and these are elements of the UI that are waiting to be updated with data from a backend system. For automotive, that could be a CAN bus, or we could be setting up for just testing out the communication going back and forth with another simulator program. But basically, what we're going to be doing here is driving data into the UI, and we're going to be doing this while looking at our new features for the event editor and storyboard connector. So storyboard connector can open up the events file in your application, parse the data, and let you start injecting events into your UI. If I open the connector view, we can see that I've got an event for updating a cluster, and there are different values here for RPM, fuel, battery, oil, and so on, with sliders that can adjust these values. So this is where we're going to drive data to the UI. But now let's take a look at defining an event with the event editor. So this is our new interface for editing events, and it's from here that you have the ability to add custom events, set what type of event we're creating, uh, we can describe their payload, and we can see here that we've built up a format string. On our RPM, uh, we're able to define the range for the min and max values that will define what shows up uh, in the connector view over here. And what this does is this really saves a lot of time and effort. What I can do fairly easily is add to our existing event here so we can include updating the speed. So the first thing I'm going to do is give this a name of speed and I'm going to use a 16-bit unsigned integer, and now it gets added here. I'm just going to move this up to the top with my RPM, and my min value is 0, which makes sense, but the max value on the speedometer is 200 kilometers an hour, and now I've got that. So now my format string's been built up accordingly, and if I can close and save this, we've updated the events file, and you can see it's been added over here in the connector view. So now let's uh, test this out and drive some events into the UI. So I've launched our app from the simulator, and now I can inject events like RPM and speed directly from my design environment. And this ends up saving me the need to export to an embedded system, running a simulator program in the background, or working from command line utilities. It just makes developing and designing a lot easier. You're able to inject data directly to your UI from within the tool. It's a simple way to define events, and it's quick and easy to verify that everything's working within the UI. What really ties everything together for the event editor and storyboard connector is that you're able to take your project file and export an event definition header file. Your event names, event formats, and event data structure are all included, and it's an easy way to keep the backend logic aligned with the UI. The event editor and storyboard connector have really refined the process of communicating event data with the UI. 
There's a lot you can do with Storyboard Suite 5.2. So download the free 30-day trial at cranksoftware.com. Thanks for watching.